There's a new up-and-coming drug cartel in Mexico, and they basically make the other cartels look like Tinkerbell. So AFP is reporting on this that the Jalisco, or actually, that's not how you pronounce it. That was super white of me. The Jalisco New Generation Drug Cartel is responsible for uh, new murders and an ambush of police officers. In fact, the highest trained police officers, the special police officers in Mexico. They say, quote, on April 6th, they gunned down 15 officers in the deadliest single day for Mexico security forces in years of a bloody drug war. Officials say that the Jalisco cartel has grown so powerful that it has produced its own assault rifles in makeshift gun assembly shops. The gang has even recruited military deserters, including foreign ones. They've also used anti-tank rifles and grenades against police convoys. Holy shit. So basically, there's a paramilitary now running several parts of Mexico. So when people say Mexico is a narco state, boy, do they ever mean it. No, it is. It's a narco state. Like, the government is maybe equal in power to the cartels, or maybe it has less power. And in this case, it looks like it has less power. The craziest thing is that the other drug cartels look at these guys and are like, those motherfuckers are ruthless. When you're getting other Mexican drug cartels who have a history of violence and insanity to say, now those motherfuckers are out there. Oh, you know we've gone too far in this whole thing, man. They created their own gun factories. Who does that? There are second world and third world governments that can't do that. These guys figured it out. They have anti-tank rifles and grenades that they use against the highest trained police officers in Mexico, and it worked. They killed over a dozen of them. <sighs> Look, man, you know what the most frustrating part of this is? Like, we just went through all this information here, and... What do you think the official response is going to be from the Mexican government, but... but are following a developing story at this hour. Twin brothers who partner with Mexico's most notorious cartel have just learned how long they will spend in prison. The two helped build a nearly $2 billion net worth for American drug ring. Fox Hold on. Hold on. Time you open the door, kid. We're just about to kick this door. Oh, yeah. My bad. It was at a late night tonight. What you need to do is stop fucking with these hoes. Fucking get your shit together, man. Look at this shit. Jay. Listen, you need to move away from this case. I know it's on your mind. I know your father's birthday is coming up. You can't help this any. Listen, I'm gonna catch that piece of shit. 
Every day I get more and more information on where he's hiding. It's not worth it, man. Fuck. Yeah. I have a meeting today with an FBI agent. She's got information on where Chavez is hiding. You're one crazy dude, man. I can't let you do this, though. Not alone. I'm in. Jimmy? Yeah. I'm in. But you gotta know what you're getting yourself into. We've been going after these cartels for what? Can't even remember. You think I don't know that, Jimmy? This man killed my father. My dad was a good cop, not the pieces of shit that are out there right now. I promised my mother I would get him. And I'm gonna do it. With this badge, or without it. Now we're gonna go introduce ourselves. And I'm gonna tell him how I was there when he pulled the trigger on my father. Let's go. All right. Damn, Jay. You didn't tell me Agent Castro was a female. Would have dressed up nicer than this if I knew she was coming. Keep it professional, Reggie. She ain't the one you want to fuck with. Agent Castro. Nice to finally meet you in person, Jay. Likewise. Hello. This is Reggie. Hello. Sergeant Gomez. Here's a breakdown, boys. Chavez is losing a lot of his friends lately. You know, pissing off the wrong people. We busted a guy in Juarez, Mexico, who led us to three major cocaine spots right here in Chicago, full of different kind of narcotics. And get this, guys. We even found dead bodies. This is bullshit. We've been tracking this guy for years and nothing. A fucking warehouse? And would we even know about this? It smells like a setup, Jay. I don't like it. Oh, here we go. Chicago's finest with this trust bullshit. That's right. You have a known drug cartel member right here in your city, and you're not gonna do anything about it, Sergeant? Jay, I don't know if you wanna go into the fire with these guys. Oh. Relax. We got this. Tell me more. Okay, back to what I was saying. Chavez is getting older now. Not moving the same anymore. I know you want him. And I did my best to get him for you. He's hiding out in an old house in Indiana where he's been there for two days. He's known to have at least five to six bodyguards with him at all times. So please, let's not underestimate this man. What gets me is, he has to have some type of law enforcement helping him or underground tunnels. I have a car watching his every move right now. Jay, I know you want him after what he did to your father. I appreciate all the help. Let's go. Oh, and Jay, let's put this asshole away. We will. Money's not good enough for your bank, huh? Is that what you're telling me? Well, you tell me? Me está diciendo que mi dinero no está muy bueno para su pinche banco. The fuck is wrong with you, huh? Hold on, hold on, Chavez. Look, I've been working with you and your father for years now. The problem is the DEA, the FBI, the CIA, the whole damn Chicago Police Department been at the bank watching everything we do. So you tell me what would you do, Mr. Jones, huh? I'm making a million a week. I'll pay you 100 k every time. Hey. You scared the fucking shit out of me. So they're here? Yes, they're fucking here. Chavez is inside. We've been out here for three fucking days. So you guys want a piece of this? Damn right we want a piece of this. Let's go. I have a question for you. Yo tengo una pregunta para ti. All right, this is what we're going to do. Reggie, you got cover. I want to count how many heads are out there. Go. I want you to take the back. Agent, you go with him. You guys, come with me. We're going to take the front. 
Where do you put the money that I give you, huh? Me está chingando. Y eso no me gusta nada. Por eso te estoy pagando muy bien. I see three outside. One on the left, right, and center. I'm taking the left out first. Ten four. Hey, déjame hablar. Ponte a trabajar. Está bien, está bien. What you need to do is open up businesses and get the hell out of this shit you're in. Good night. <laughs> open up businesses? Can you believe this pinche gringo? Listen to me. Escúchame muy bien. I know where to hide my money. I'm gonna find Mrs. Jones, your beautiful daughter. I'm gonna take her far away to my country, Sinaloa, Mexico. And you know what I'm gonna do to them? I'm gonna bury them alive. And you know what I'm gonna do with you? With the money that I pay you, I'm gonna make you a beautiful funeral, hijo de puta! Looks like you have a snitch in your department, eh? Me hablan y me dicen todo, hijo de puta. <laughs> Let me tell you this, you pig. El hombre que tienes en tu casa y te dice que todo estará bien. The one that don't want you to come here. <laughs> you came into my house. You killed my father. Right. Right! <laughs> that was a long time ago. Tu madre gritándome. Muy fuerte. Pidiéndome que no matara a tu padre. <laughs> Ilya Gomez, gracias por todo, hijo de puta! Jay, this man killed my father! I know. It's not worth your time. And Gomez knew everything about it. Gomez? Uh, put him away. You're right. No, no, no. Not like this. Gomez! Stand down, you're under arrest. What's going on? Put it down! Agents, cuff it! Give me the gun! Hello? What? 
You've got to be kidding. I'll be on the next flight to Chicago.